So, but these two have got a lot of class to them. Hutch and Paraphernalia won't be shocked if either one of them wins. Swift Limes is certainly a chance if he leads. Set to run. Here's a lure. They're ready. Racing, Hutch jumped away pretty well. There's speed from Swift Limes. Will lead Hutch and out wide Banjo last. They go to the first bend and Hutch is now joining Swift Limes and now is about to run to the lead. They're bunching, uh, making ground between runners. Banjo last year, the front two ran wide. Uh, Brinza makes ground the rail from Paraphernalia and last is Rusty Sprocket. Hutch gets the better of them now. Put up three lengths now. On the bend, Brinza runs to second, making ground wide out Paraphernalia, but Hutch gets clear. He's back today. Hutch wins. In. Swift Limes came through, and I think he got second from Paraphernalia and Brinza uh, behind those Banjo Lass and Rusty Sprocket last in. Hutch. Well, he was right outside the leader early, and that leader, Swift Limes, wanted to get off down the back, and that enabled a few of the others to get up on the, underneath that pair, and Hutch was out very wide, but he used his speed, and he eventually worked past them just as they went off the back straight. And once he got clear, he was going to be very hard to beat. That's his second run back, and that's a terrific run. 29.92. This, this dog's got loads of talent. And he certainly does. And he would have been a massive chance in that Country Cup final and Adelaide Cup night if things didn't go wrong for him on that night. And Robert Halliday has got him back winning today. Hutch, number four. Two seconds, Swift Limes and eight paraphernalia. He was never really in it today. He was uh, a bit slow early. And then late, he really started to run on late, but uh, it was all too late. One got fourth, Brinza.